The Trails to the Unknown Paranormal Team share their experiences and thoughts on subjects such as Bigfoot, Aliens, Ghosts, and other mysteries of the world. Join Jesse, Alan, and Anna as they share their stories from the Dirt Road Diaries. Hey, I'm Alan from Trails to the Unknown. And I'm Jesse from Trails to the Unknown. And behind the camera is Anna. And this is our premiere of Dirt Road Diaries. So Trails to the Unknown is a paranormal video series that features three paranormal explorers that travel to various locations in the United States um, to look for clues and, and mysteries and investigate, you know, hauntings, Bigfoot, UFOs, all the kind of, you know, fascinating mysteries that surround our culture. And Dirt Road Diaries is an extension of Trails to the Unknown that takes a little bit deeper dive into everything that we've explored in the episodes. Additionally, it'll be some more behind the scenes stuff, stuff that may have not been able to just fit in the episode, and also additional experiences that we had, paranormal or otherwise, like that one time I had to go to the outhouse and there wasn't one. We also felt that doing a podcast like this would give us a chance to talk to other explorers out there and get some you know, feedback and, and some experiences that other people have been having. So we plan to talk to several people and different backgrounds that, that do different kinds of things and similar things to us just to kind of, you know, tie in with what's happening out there. So why don't you guys tell everyone about how Trails to the Unknown got started? Oh, Jesus. What is Trails to the Unknown? So long ago. So the Trail Thing Unknown series follows three paranormal explorers, which would be me, Jesse, and Anna. And we basically we we go on a road trip to a location that has a mystery or a haunting or some sort of interesting anomaly going on. And um we basically conduct uh interviews with people and we do we do paranormal investigations. And it's just a kind of a, a fun way to come along with us and watch us check out some of these really scary places and really fascinating mysteries. Yeah, I think Curls to the Unknown is a, um, you know, and tell me if I'm off base, but it's really uh, the same yet a little bit different for each one of us. I personally... I enjoy checking this stuff out. Uh, I really like the, you know, taking a trip, you know, whether it's a, a weekend trip or overnight trip, whatever the case might be, to go check these uh, places out. Um, and I think it was a combination of several other iterations of things that Alan and I have tried and also Alan and Anna and I have tried putting together. And um, they've all been fun. And what's kind of cool is this is just the culmination of all those different uh, little projects we've had in the past, whether it was uh, Alan and I going out um, uh, over and over and over again, looking, trying to find Bigfoot in Ohio or out here in Colorado, and uh, always having an interest really since we were kids in this stuff. I remember we used to uh, lay down on the roof of Alan's house. And uh, I mean, when we were kids, like junior high and high school and stuff, and lay out and literally just lay on the roof for hours to see if we would see a UFO. Yeah, I mean, it, it, this this series is a combination of a culmination of a whole lifetime of doing this kind of exploring. But you know, we 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 love doing this kind of stuff. We we really get you know excited about going out and doing these things, and we just wanted to find a way to kind of bring people along with us. You know, we watch all the shows on TV. You know, all the ghost hunting shows and all those things. We've watched them ever since we were teenagers or even younger than that. And they're they're all you know they're all very good. But the the one thing that you know, there's a lot of some. There's a lot of them that sometimes are not as as genuine. They're a little overplayed, and you know, we just kind of wanted to present something that was really us. Like all the things you see in the series are us. If if we're scared, it's because we're really scared. You know, like there's really nothing being embellished too much. It's it's a genuine adventure, and the the three of us have been doing this for a while, and we we all are you know close knit group and we have a lot of fun together and that's what it's all about for us is having fun and bringing you along with us do you guys remember anything about coming up with the name trails to the unknown uh, coming up with the name for the show names are always tough you know we uh. we we always sit there for hours with lists and lists and 
keep working different names until we get it. I don't specifically remember how we came up with Trails to the Unknown. I think we were emailing, not not texting, actually emailing like words and stuff back and yeah. forth. And eventually just Trails to the Unknown was something that just clicked. It kind of encompassed uh, the idea of what we wanted to do. Uh, and that was really inc being able to in incorporate um, some of the before part of going on these adventures and exploring these places, which was taking the drive, the road trip to go there, which uh, is just a, as much an important part of the actual investigation or exploration, whatever you want to call it, um, part of or the story. Snacks, road trip snacks yeah. are critical, a critical component to making these things successful. Yeah, with every one of these, you know, investigations, there's a whole journey involved to getting there and the people you meet once you get there and along the way. And it's there's a whole, you know, whole series of events that leads up to this final investigation. And, and we wanted to capture all that with the show and, and bring the whole thing to you, not just the grand finale. Okay, so I have a list that actually... Oh, Jesus. So I think originally we started with Paranormal Inquiry, which is a whole other thing. Yeah. So how did we get from Paranormal Inquiry to starting G YouTube to having a whole series ready to go? Well, you know, Jesse and I had finished doing a film called The Back 80, not to plug ourselves here, but, um, and we kind of weren't sure where to go next. We knew we wanted to do something bigger, something that we could kind of start and build off of. And that was where the idea came to do more of a series. And then we kind of looked at some of what series were out there and, you know, we all like to do so many different things and we're interested in all these different things all at once. We're like, why can't we? Why do we have to do just ghosts or just UFOs? Why can't we do it all? So that was kind of where, you know, it, it evolved into what it was. We had Paranormal Inquiry. It was more of a event-based type group, yeah. you know, where yeah. we would we would bring people along with us actually go do investigations. It wasn't about you know, videoing it and getting it out there to thousands of people. Um, so I think that's kind of how it evolved from there was it was a chance for us to, you know, create a body of work that we could just keep adding on to and we didn't have to keep bringing it Being ourselves. confined to a specific genre. Yeah. Or yeah. We, yeah. And this, the, the other thing actually that Alan and I did, oh my, how long has it been now? I, I don't even know. Um, it still exists uh, on Facebook, but uh, it is um, Fathom Frontiers. Fathom, Fathom Frontiers. Uh, that was really our first uh, attempt at putting together, you know, with a purpose and a direction. Because we've been kind of messing around, like I said, with that stuff for years. But we're like, well, let's just create this, you know, it's Alan and Jesse. And we go out, we go looking for Bigfoot. And that was really the primary thing we did with that. And, uh, and you know, we had to, we ever. YouTube channel and all the requisite social media stuff, but it was just, that was a, oh man, it was, there's it's, so many great stories. Yeah. It's, it's true though, like we we had the Fathom Frontiers, it was kind of the idea. And I think, you know, when Anna came along, she brings this whole other element of creativity that we didn't have before. So we wanted to kind of take the Fathom Frontiers concept and, and, and bring Anna in and ex expand it into something bigger. And that's kind of how- Jesse makes demonstrative yeah. explosion sound and hand motions. That's how Trails of the Unknown came about. Fathom Frontiers was always kind of Bigfoot, but this is could be anything. I mean, we could yeah. go we could go hunt through the the ruins of the Mayan culture. I mean, we, who knows where this will take us? We can do that. We can do that. Oh man, we're so gonna find the mummy. I think <laughs> just uh, 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 Fraser, whatever his name was. <laughs> yeah, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser. <laughs> we found him. He's in Egypt. But no, I think, and that's the the cool part about this is, like you said, we we all have similar, but yeah, we have different interests. And this gave us the opportunity to kind of meld all those together yeah. uh, and uh, be able to do that. Um, but we all yeah. have the common interest, but we all have different experiences. So we all bring something different to the table and it just kind of works. It just kind of works. Yeah, it works. Does it work? Is it worth it? I, Let me work it. Put my... Just don't twerk it. But I, I don't want to sing the rest of Missy Elliott song. I don't know if we have enough money to pay for that. Yeah. No, we don't. Well, I have a list of episode ideas that we compiled a long time ago. Um, so I'm going to read those off and oh see boy. What, you, what you guys think now. How long ago was this? Probably like 
three years ago. Oh boy. Okay. Who knows what we were thinking back then? Okay, so we've got Lizzie Borden. Oh yeah. Mm. That's like on the top of my bucket list of places I always wanted to go. The Lizzie Borden Bed and Breakfast. I don't know. It's, it's cool. We can get there. Just cool. going there. I think it'd be really cool. I want to sleep in the murder bed. Are you sure you would actually sleep in the murder bed? Because I distinctly remember an episode, we'll talk details at another episode, where um, you didn't want to sleep in a room. You know? Yeah, oh yeah, no, I think we but all you would cuddle. sleep in the murder bed? We all cuddle in the one. That never happens. Okay. Next we have the Winchester Mystery House. Oh, that would be really cool. That would be very, very cool. I mean, I don't know. I know there's all the paranormal stuff behind it, but just to, just to be able to go and walk through that would be awesome. Anything on Adam? No, no, that's that's on my list of one of the places too. Yeah, I really think that'd be cool. Sativa Sanctuary. Sativa. Is that a? I have no cat idea. place, or I, I don't. <laughs> cat place. Yeah, like Sativa the cats, a bunch of hundreds of cats hang out there. Yeah. Is that, I, what is it? It is a mystery. I don't you even just know have that? Is. You don't even. I, I don't even know. Who put that on the list? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. What? Hey, did one of you cats put that on the list? I don't know. Okay. Sedona Energy Vortex. What were we doing back then? I don't remember any of this. I don't even know. Were we partaking in any illegal substance? I don't think so. I don't remember. I don't what? remember. Uh, it, is that, that's Arizona? Sedona? Sedona? Nebraska? I'm not sure. Is that in Wyoming? Somebody was hitting the Google. <laughs> I honestly, I don't know. I can't even remember that. I don't what remember that at all. What else you got? <laughs> I mean, it sounds cool, but... We've got Lake Michigan Monster, the Lake Champlain Monster, oh, yeah, and yeah. Lake Erie Monster. Got the monsters. Yeah. Uh, I, I, mm, it'd be fun. It'd probably be good to... We'd need a boat. Yeah. we'd have to, If we had a boat and could do an episode, like a little tiny aluminum john boat or something, be able to go out a little bit, or rent a fishing like a whaling boat. boat. We can go on to the next question. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you guys are from Ohio, so would you want to do the Lake Erie Monster or something more famous like Champ? I think I would want to do just for just because we're from Northeastern Ohio, the Lake Erie Monster. Um, we we've probably got some good connections with people, and actually could probably put together a pretty cool episode, uh, even if we got no evidence. Um, I think it would be worth the effort. That's what I think because it's hometown. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to do I'd like to do Champ at some point too. I was. I was out there um, a year ago for some other stuff and got to see Lake Champlain in person. And it's it's a really cool place, a beautiful area. So that, I'd, I'd like to do that, too. It's kind of been done, but we yeah. we haven't done it. So right. could do it our own way. That's right. So one more Mount Shasta. Oh, Shasta. I like the orange. I like I like the I was on the USS Shasta in the Navy. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah, I don't know what that is. E thirty three. Um, well, just pound your chest. Yeah, I did. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that's right. Um, I don't know what what could you have any background on what is the story I with the Shasta? Stuff going on there. Some, <laughs> I you know there is nothing more that we like to investigate than stuff. stuff. I mean, well, if it's random stuff, invisible stuff, unknown stuff, stuffy stuff, bigger stuff stuffed, we're always down to investigate the stuff. It's also a movie, but I don't know. Well, I tell you, the before we left Ohio, I tried to put together, and I was talking with the law enforcement down there, because there's there's some new um, rules, but uh, the, was it Centrilla, Pennsylvania? Is that how you say it? Centrilla? Centrilla. Where, where okay. there, there's, a, there's been a mine fire, underground mine fire, burning for like a decade now, and it's just... Yeah. There's this yeah. there's this road that's all broken apart and it's got all this graffiti and stuff on there. They've been trying to close it down, but I was working really hard to try to get us set up to go out there and, and check it out, but it didn't come together in time. But that'd be another place that'd be really cool to go to. Yeah. It's been it's done a lot though. But it's mysterious because just a it's, visit. Yeah, because it's so it's just such a different, unique thing. Yeah. Future videos, what's what's like your number one bucket list item? Oh wow. You know, we've already done some of these, you know, like Alcatraz. We got an episode of Shortcut coming out for that. That was on my bucket list. The, the Lizzie Borden for me, I really wanted to go there. Uh, at some point, I'd like to go to Dracula's Castle in Romania is on my list, but that's a mm. that's a big a big wish. Well, oh, hey, I mean, that's, that's a big bucket. Yeah. What about stateside? I think going to Salem would be really cool and New Orleans. 
Hmm. I think those two places to do paranormal and get set up and yeah, I think that would be really cool. I'd also like to do um, Area 51 in Roswell at some point. And Roswell's only about six hours from here, so I think that might happen. Oh, man. Those are good. Um, I'd like to just see if we could get some connections and uh, go. I mean, ideally, it'd be love to just camp out somewhere we can camp out for a night, maybe two, is Dulce, mm -hmm. Mexico. Uh, there's just so many crazy stories that come that out of there. I could definitely make that happen. Um, and uh, I think I'm on the same page. I So here's the thing. Before I tell you the location, um, is I don't know what this would be if you categorize it as paranormal or just mysterious or just straight up just crazy adventure. But if we could go down to New Orleans and connect with some legit locals and just take some of those get some voodoo those, well just some of the, i was thinking like those those you know deep dark swamp tours you know or just get on one of those boats and just go explore some areas and just good more so than the paranormal just the you know just places that people don't get to every day there's just so many there's such a rich history down there um i've been fortunate to to visit that area a couple times but beyond that Let's go to Florida, man, and go look for this skunk ape. We got a connection down there. Yeah. So. Few. Yeah. So um, I think, you know. You know what else might be fun? Gettysburg. Civil War. Yeah. There's always stories and images that come out of there. Um, you know, I, I think I'm trying to look at this as like a bucket list opportunity as a not concerning myself about any like, you know, what processes or paperwork we'd have to go through it's just like hey what right. would just be really cool to go to right um uh gettysburg is a good one um and, but um what i've been saving actually what you don't know is when i go through um uh, social media stuff i will i've been saving a bunch of things and a lot of them are smaller stories okay but they're like these they sound really really cool so and that'd be something to you know as we have the opportunity to go in and try and get more and more of these little just cool little almost i don't want to call them sidebar stories and diminish them for what they are but they may not get the notoriety that some of the other ones get oh i almost forgot whatever that i'm well, going to call it the this the, must be good the pit the hole that's like oh yeah whatever that what's it called the bell witch yeah whatever that no the yeah is that the one where the bell doesn't even know he doesn't know what I'm talking about. The hole, the pit that you guys went to. The hole? What pit? We didn't go to a pit. The Sarlacc pit where you get devoured for a thousand years. No, not that one. That never happened. The one where you go and then there's the closed off portion. In the cave? The cave, yeah. Oh, oh we're going to do that. That's going to be a future. Well, episode. I know, but it's still on my list because what that presents is the that opportunity. Off your list by going there. I think Jesse's leaving. I'm not really sure why. Just told me we're not going. Huh? Told me we're not going. I told you we are going. Oh, okay. So, anyways, what I was saying is... I'm not sure what happened there. This is why I think it's a cool opportunity because, uh, because I want to do this. Is literally, there's a portion that is closed off to the general public, but if we have the opportunity to do this, I want to be locked in there and just stay for, you know, a couple hours by myself and have a camera. Anyways, that stuff, it's, it's, it's nerve wracking, but it's exciting at the same time. I'll just say I'd like to stay somewhere like in the woods again, like in the middle of the woods, like okay. in the woods, cause that's like the scariest, okay. like, the scariest things I can do. All right. But I want to do that too, though. So, you know, I'm all up in them pine trees pine cones and 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 bobcats and squirrels you know and uh mooses you see the pile of them turds do you know they sell those on etsy turds yeah no i'm dead serious if you go on etsy you can find moose like they they glaze them and they sell them and i hope to god there is no moose knuckle but no there's um no, seriously, moose turds. They have people sell them on Etsy, glossed up, yeah. and they buy them on necklaces and little jars and stuff. I've got three of them. I just ordered three of them. Well, there's a whole bunch of one for each of us. Perfectly, you know, football almost shaped moose turds up in the. We can go get and we can put some shine on them and polish them up. 
Yeah. Maybe Which, we should send it to someone that watches this video. We could do that. Yeah. Would you like to get Trails to the Unknown or, I mean, Dirt Road Diaries, uh, Moose Turds? Um, I got you a bear. Which Some really nuggets. begs the question, can you polish a turd? Probably if it's shellac, you could. Shellac or polyurethane. Yeah, poly, a poly turd. Okay, let's get away from the poop jokes. Yeah. <laughs> I have that shit's ridiculous. <laughs> I have one more question. See each of you. Ghosts, Bigfoot, or aliens? Pick one. Hmm. It's too difficult to Um I mean I like being outside and, and walking around and exploring the mountains with the Bigfoot stuff. But I really like, I don't know. I don't know. Can I, we'll just, let me, is it the same question posed to me, right? Mm -hmm. I, I think I'm kind of the same way because if it's aliens, I think that's so much more difficult and so much harder because you're literally, oh, there's a streak across the sky or there's some lights that look weird. But at the same time, the result of that could be so much more dramatic if you actually got like, you know, if you actually encountered that and you were able to record it, whatever. Uh, Bigfoot is several tiers down, but God, I mean, if you're out in the woods and we're looking and we can get good video, <coughs> if we're out in the woods and get good video of Bigfoot, I mean, that's life changing. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I can. Oh, my why This is a difficult question. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't pick one. That's why we do them all. I think. I think if anything, I would have to go with probably. This is coming from me, so I would probably have to go with Bigfoot because out of any of this, honestly, this that seems to me the most plausible for existence. I mean, maybe it's the most easy to, like, and, and difficult at the same time to try because uh, there's a lot of. What's the word? Uh, potential evidence or whatever you want to call it. Hypothetical. That's not the right word, but, you know, evidence of Bigfoot. But it's like, eh, it's so hard, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to, if I was forced, I'd probably have to go Bigfoot. So you're being forced. Make a decision. I'd have to go with ghosts. Okay. I think a lot of that came from since I've been out here in Colorado there's all these ghost towns up in the mountains that are remnants of towns and we've had these experiences and we've got the Stanley Hotel that's only an hour from here. And there's just such a unique opportunity to explore these old buildings. A lot of the places we've been are places that normal people just don't go to and haven't been into and especially haven't gone in there looking like we have, you know, with a purpose. And I think we've for? probably had far more paranormal experiences than we have Bigfoot experience. So I think... Yeah. You know, and that's kind of where we started. The first investigations that we ever did were all paranormal ones, and we got, you know, found stuff from, from day one. So I've always been really lucky with the paranormal, and I think I think that's what gets me because, you know, being in the woods at night looking for Bigfoot is really terrifying, but so is being locked in a 100-year-old lodge by yourself, and you start hearing things knocking on the wall. I mean, that, it's you, you, when you put yourself in those vulnerable, vulnerable positions, you you kind of learn who you are, you know? I already know who I am, Alan. Batman? No, of course not. Oh. All right, I think that's a wrap on episode one. I think it went pretty well for now knowing what the heck we're doing. Jesse makes demonstrative uh, card slapper. Oh, yeah, that, it was very demonstrative. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so anyways, appreciate you listening, watching, whatever the case might be. So again, make sure to check us out on YouTube. Hit that subscribe. Uh, trails to the unknown uh, of course we're on the facebook we're on the instagram yes we're on the gram and we're also on twitter as well trails to the unknown check us out and follow us on there and um hey listen write to us send us some messages you've had some experiences we want to know about it and if we're lucky enough and hopefully we can maybe we'll eventually meet up someday and we can go film and share your story anyways We'll see you on the road.